Hey guys, welcome back to Bill and Chill Gaming. I'm Bill, and with me as we play episode two of Tell Me Why for the First Time is Mike. Hello! And yeah, we just finished uh, episode one not too long ago. Um, there's a ghost. There's a yeah. demon. There's a hunter following us, and that's jarring and terrifying. And I was literally, as I was editing everything, I'm sitting here and I'm like, I wish that like the fantasy was a little less or like, it felt so grounded and like it was kind of jarring to go back and forth between their childhood stories. But now that that's like physical in the realm or at least interacting with us, the the player in the audience, I'm really interested to see where it's going to go. Having a little hard time with some of the gameplay things, but that's honestly the least important thing to me. I'd rather be annoyed at tasks and enjoy the story. And the story so far has been incredible. But yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying. I have the resources up that uh, the Don't Not and Tell Me Why people have uh, concerning the themes, topics, and uh, characters that they involve. I'll leave that there. Um, don't forget to like the video, subscribe, ring the bell, check your settings, make sure it's set to all so you're notified of all the premieres, uploads, and live streams on this channel, as well as on my main channel, youtube.com slash the third bill, where I talk about music and animation. Um, and don't forget, guys, as always, there are links in the description for education on uh, social injustice going on in the world, issues in the world card, uh, Black Lives Matter, Stopping Asian Hate, Trevor Project resources, as well as mental health resources and crisis lines, should you or someone you know need them. Thanks to everyone who's watching, whether you're hanging out in the premiere chat or in your own time. Um, I appreciate you all the same. Now then, let's find out what's going on, because, <laughs> yeah. good God. <sighs> Once upon a time in a deep and ancient forest. There lived a pair of crafty goblins. Oh, we're recapping it through the story, huh? The story book. Oh, okay. The crafty goblins did everything together. Until one day, the fire when darkness attacked. overwhelmed mm. the big wooden house in which they lived. I like the art design of it. Yeah. Ooh, and the Link music's the like darkness, cute and creepy. Brother Goblin was forced to leave the forest while his sister had to stay behind. Oh. Ten what a, years later, they were finally reunited. What a charming together, way of reminding us of all the intense stuff that went down. House. Oh, and the goblins wearing the denim. <laughs> and the other goblins wearing the beanie. Though they sought the help of their friends in the forest, they found that no one wanted to delve into the long gone past. Hmm. <laughs> Posh. This is how the goblins found themselves alone in the woods, Ew. trying to discover why dark ghost had submerged the big wooden house. Whatever that thing is, it's terrifying. Yeah. I have one abstract theory that I can't follow up my thoughts on. We should play compass and north star in the woods be sure to wear your hat then <laughs> you be sure to wear your hat <laughs> yeah. yeah mom's going through something all right who wants ice cream Me. eat up yay ice cream and it's mint chip that means they're great people i love mint i will Without fight you word. She went out okay, and buried the tiara in the ground beneath the sapling. And as the final scoop of dirt fell, the tiara felt truly gone. And with it, the final link to her old self. She could only go forward and find a new place for herself in this world. Where she was no longer truly a princess in a tiara and a beautiful gown, but a wan woman alone in a deep and ancient wood and that was how the princess lost her most precious treasure and her title i don't like that story yeah that sounded upsetting no goblins, and it was depressing we won't read it again sad stories are important to you though Mom. like this one not me <laughs> just kidding Rude. love you mom i love mm. you too even the nice moments are stressing me out Sleep well and dream, my doves. Ollie? Ollie? 
Oh, dang, was all that that night? There's something so tragic about adding the element of they had ice cream that night and were read bedtime stories. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. What a waste. I've done that. I was about to say, yeah. been there. <laughs> Allison! Ollie! Allison, help! Sometimes I would go, oh, the box is empty, and put it in the trash and go, I'll take out the trash so I can eat an extra ice cream bar in the garage. Oh, God. Oh, that's getting so jarring. The warble. Yeah. Now I'm scanning for the demon. Or the hunter, is that what they called it? anything about this stuff but would the sentence have been different if they had said it was Allison defending her brother as opposed to self-defense hard to say I don't know from my perspective I, I think it would be worse the same outcome but with Allison yeah that's yeah. I, I wonder if that's kind of the sentiment that they want but I'm yeah. like you know. I don't have a lot of the information of. Right. Yeah. Anyway, back to sad, sad 20 whatever this is. Oh, no, copyright. <laughs> Copyrighted ambiance music. Ghosts in this house. There's some ghosts in this house. Did not see the demon thing. Yeah, that makes me feel a little better. But, like, it looks like we're still kind of jumping around in time and stuff a lot. Yeah. I mean, it's really pretty. Like, I... You know, like I said, I... The minimal issues that I have with frustrating gameplay aside, like, I live for the times where the story kicks back in. I think the story is a lot... Like, that's the focus for me, no matter what, but for this especially. It just... It's just, it's heartbreaking. That's cool. I, like, I don't, I don't, it just, it gives me this, like, vision of, like, 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 illustrating, like, what life could have been like, and growing up together, and that feeling of, like, yay, we're home, instead of, oh, God, the house where it all happened. You know what I mean? Yeah. But, the dust. <laughs> I hope this is how they spent their time between episode one and two, like having fun instead of, you know, because they said something about like they're going to break into the police records. So yeah. I'm like, this doesn't feel like what had happened, but gosh, I hope it is what happened. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But I also think there's something to be said about like illustrating the situation more, but also letting the emotions roller coaster and ebb and flow as opposed to always keeping the intensity high. It makes those points more poignant. It's just good writing. Oh, man. Hey. Are you doing all right? I thought coming here would be closing a chapter of our lives, you know? And instead we spun off a whole miserable prequel trilogy oh yeah. but uh, there's also something to be said about clarity and understanding and like i love that those okay. moments where tyler no. seems to be finding more peace and i'm waiting for allison's turn as well you Come know on. Mm -hmm. up my numbing labor is a great way to forget your troubles uh can't Not we inaccurate. just have coffee instead no on your feet soldier Okay, so it's Let's like literally the next take day. Take a break from packing and sort out the furniture. 
If we get enough done, I'll drive you into town and buy you a gallon of ice cream. Mint chocolate chip, two gallons. Let's do this. Told you, mint chocolate chip is for the elite <laughs> humans of the world. <laughs> Damn. I mean, yeah. Goblin face is keep. Dollar oh, sign awesome. is donate or sell. And trash can as well. Trash. By the way, I cleared out most of the stuff from the bathroom this morning, but I left you the toilet. How very generous of you. Uh, apparently there's a collectible. Okay. Uh, head to the dining room table. Uh, You're doing the one job. with the uh, plush couch thanks. around it. Look underneath to find a frog. Yeah, hey, I also got you another achievement. Hey. The dining room table. Yeah, dining room table, the one with the plush couch around it. There you Look go. under. I'll get you your damn achievement. <laughs> Look at the froggy. Me. Yeah. <laughs> I was bit by a radioactive <laughs> spider. Spider frog. That was spider frog. Me. Goblins were here. Cool, cool. Do the unlockable or do the collectibles? Do the collectibles get us get get? Do the collectibles get us like the secret ending, or is it just something to do? Ugh, it's a fantastic question. I actually haven't looked it up. <laughs> Some unfortunate spillage that brought about the end of indoor tea parties. I hid the stain with my toys. Forgetting that they would eventually be picked up. Brilliant move, Ronan. Uh, you were no better. Well, I seem to recall a time you stole an egg, put it on the couch, and sat on it because you wanted a pet chicken. Huh? We don't talk about that. Uh huh. Well, at least I didn't leave a stain. I feel like eggs stain. Do eggs stain? <laughs> I completely uh... forgot we had a pet vole for a few days. Poor Volcano. She Volcano the Vole! <laughs> Good thing Marianne actually knew what she was doing with some of his wildlife. Yeah, that's also very true. Oh god, oh god. Yep. I remember that night I just might. I remember that night I just might. Lasagna! Lasagna! Finish your salad first. It's lasagna? Your Rude. You're a lifesaver. No, don't worry about it. Mm. Leftovers from the restaurant. What about Volcano? She needs to eat her lunch too. <laughs> Volcano. Still don't know how I feel about Tessa. She can have my corn. Oh yeah, no. Here you go, little one. She seemed to be remorseful when we called her out, but <laughs> Tessa really did keep us all fed. Still does, I guess. I reserve judgment because people are capable of learning, understanding, and change, but like, goddamn. Oh yeah, we're in Alaska. We yeah. have a Catch whole up. lot of nothing. Uh, I was hoping maybe you could make me one of those pickle and ketchup sandwiches. What? Ugh, why'd you have to remind me of that? I don't know how you ate that stuff. Says the guy who used to eat peanut butter with ranch. What the? Mm. Um. You know, Kids, we need to have a talk. You live your best life, but. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> no judgment, but a little, hello. Table and wobbly chairs. Uh. Sell? Does it matter what I do? No. <laughs> All we need to do is clean the coffee table. We can make some pretty good money if we sell this. And I know I'd end Everything up eating on the special. couch most of the time anyway. Oh. Oh, God. That's. What's that smell? Yeah. Hello, ghosts? Yeah, there you go. I just might remember that night for the rest of my days. What's that smell? Smells like delicious garbage. Ooh, yes, delicious indeed. <laughs> or it could have been Stinky Pants Sam. <laughs> oh, Stinky Pants Sam! <laughs> Come on now. Sam got that smell getting a skunk out of our barn. Be nice. A skunk? Oh, Sam's the her? drunk dude. Is she okay? Oh, yeah. <laughs> sure is. She yeah. just went hunting for food and couldn't get back out. All she needed was a little nudge to get her on her way. Sam Kansky, hero of skunk kind. I remember being super impressed by him. 
And it made me want to be a wild animal superhero, too. Yeah. I mean, it's better than the alternative of, you know, hurting or shooting it or trapping it, you know? Ancient appliances, you are staying here. Although, that oven looks in okay enough shape. No way. We are not moving the oven. Okay. Mm. Oh, come on. Dump cake. Ingredients. One can of cherries, one can of... Turn this thing into a terrarium. <sighs> I wasn't reading or anything. So it doesn't matter what we do with the furniture? No. What to do with this? Uh, keep, I guess, right? Because yeah. it just goes with that setup. Tables are expensive. And besides, this one's an Allison and Tyler original. Oh, keep, like, isn't they're going to keep it? Yeah. Oh, uh, I thought it was, like, keep with the house when you sell it. I'm like, that, with that kind of, like, like, connected fixture for the seating, it'd be nice to have that, like, table be a part of it. Whatever. You said it doesn't matter. Yeah. But there is more memories upstairs. Okay. Memories. I knew you were going to do it. <sighs> I know what Idris Elba looks like as a naked cat. Oh, I thought it was like the corner of your mind. That is always in the corner of my mind. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's an attractive dude. Yeah. It's just... If you want your towel to rot, Good go God, that it. movie. Um. Fair enough. Junk I feel food. like I feel like one of these options makes us agree more, and the other one makes us negative towards each other. Thanks for clearing out those cabinets. Not my pleasure. Smell? Why? <laughs> oh, ew, ew, ew! Ravens. Yeah. yeah. Oh God, I can still taste it. Put it away. Ugh. Oh, the medicine. I thought I'm like uh, sitting there for like a decade. Uh, I remember cutting off shaving cream beards with these. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah. Okay. They mentioned something about the toilet, so I'm like, oh, should I go in the bathroom and like help out? But I guess it was just witty banter all and around. What do you know? More stuff. Yeah, that's how it works. Five little monkeys oh. jumping on the bed. Me, <laughs> Tyler. How does five little monkeys go again? Five little monkeys jumping on the bed. One, One fell, fell down, down and, and bumped, bumped his, his head. head. Mama called the doctor. The doctor said no, no more, more monkeys, monkeys jumping, jumping on the bed. bed. Oh, I'm sorry. Did that activate something for you? <laughs> Let me go back. Wait, where is it? I think it's in the. On the, yeah. Oh, there we go. Womp. No more monkeys jumping on the bed. <laughs> or out of a tree. Don't say that. Mama's gonna be so mad you had to go to the hospital. She worries way too much about what people think. Mm. Everything okay up there? Yeah. When's mom coming She'll home? be here soon. Is anyone hungry? No, oh, I'm like okay. Thank you. Mom was gone a lot. Episode one did not give me that impression. You scared me to death when you fell out of that tree. I cried most of the way to Tessa's house. It was kind of exciting going to the hospital, but the part after that with Marianne, that was less fun. I remember the look that Tessa gave her when she finally came home. If looks could kill, right? Yeah. And Marianne was a mess. Foot soft. What light there's... There's a paper plane stuck in the ceiling light. Maybe it has a secret message from our past self. Find something to knock it down. Hmm. I could use that ball. Ball? Okay. Let's see if I can still do this. Well, why would you throw it at Tyler? <laughs> to be cute. Nailed it. Good shot. Is Tyler gonna look at it? Okay. I'll just oh chill here. God. Wow. This is unreal. 
It just what is it? Ass. Thousands, uh, big fat loser. You're no better at insults than you were. Rude. At <laughs> Why mess with perfection? Okay. I'm worried that I'm gonna like make them hate each other through Baloney. our exchanges. <laughs> Guess who I found? Baloney. Baloney. <laughs> oh, that's a great bear name. <laughs> I've seen things since you've been gone. <laughs> There's definitely a ghost in this house. <laughs> we should gather Please up all our old toys and spots. give them to charity. What's that? I said we should give our old toys to charity. Oh, good idea. Except okay. for okay. maybe one charity. or two. <laughs> Softy. Do I get a choice in this decision? I'm a lost <laughs> toy. I'm a lost toy. Oh, can't do anything with it. Nope. <laughs> A little square over there, that figurine on the table. It looked like a Minecraft for uh, a second. Right? Did I say that right? A Minecraft? Yeah. Yeah. Fortnite? <sighs> Will this ever stop feeling so weird? Probably not. That's okay. Oh, God. Congratulations, you found the map. That will lead you with no mishap. Follow my trails of twinkling stones, and perchance you'll escape the unknown. In the jungle, you must wait until the tax three five or eight. So long, trusty bunk beds. Okay. Dearest Dolly, how are you? I'm in the boathouse and everything is going very well. I'm writing this letter to formally invite you to my tea party. I'll prepare tea and cookies and you can meet my dearest friend, Baloney, uh, who I know you will love. Please come this afternoon at 4 p.m. Kindest regards, Allison. Goblin picture. <laughs> <laughs> I found treasure. It's friendship. Dear Allison, thank you so much for the invitation. Everything is good here, too. No beavers in sight, though. I will be there at 4.15 p.m. because I need to make sure to feed the birds or Mom will go crazy. See you soon, Sir Ollie. Sir Ollie. Okay. To all from Allison. This looks like, some, it looks like you wrote your own email. Others may not understand the laughs we have together and love we share for each other, but I know whatever happens, every goblin has a twin. I love you. Happy Siblings Day. That's literally a tweet written down, but that's lovely. Someone. Hello? Oh, curtain. So there was something. Was that the only thing up I here? Think, I think those are the only things, yeah. Okay. Well, maybe the paper plane was important. Can you come back down to help me? Okay, Tyler, you need to chill. I know this hey, game. Did you finish packing upstairs? Nope. There's way too much junk to sort through. I know this game likes to nudge you in the right directions, but it, it, come on now. It's like so fast. I asked you to clean up the coffee table three times already. <sighs> Oops, I forgot. Heckin' clean. All right, I'll clean it up. Thanks. Clean While up, you do that, clean I'll check out the furniture. Everybody do your share. Clean up. I'm clean guessing up. you want to keep the coffee table? Everybody everywhere. Uh, what about you? If there's anything you want, speak now. I'm not really planning on bringing furniture to Denali. And if I need a base in Juno, you'll have all the furniture I need. How very non-committal of you. All right, I'll keep it. Yeah. Cool. Keep doing it. Oh, keep doing it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Some, does something I really yeah. like that armchair. Yeah. Uh, It'll look sharp next to your tree stump nightstand. I'll be the most stylish mountain man ever. But I was actually thinking it should go in your library. Library? We may not even have a living room. <laughs> I have faith in you. I'll keep it. Maybe it'll be salvageable with a deep clean? How many times do you want me to do this, Mike? It's, it's eventually, something's supposed to happen. Are you going to keep doing that? Are you tricking me? <laughs> no, I swear to God. And so something happens. Man, you just want achievements. You're using right. me right now. There Very it is. <laughs> Mood changer. <laughs> Mom, can you come pick me up? No, I don't want to go to swim practice. I just want to go home. Can you stop at McDonald's? <laughs> Can I find out what this says? Yeah, that's a good question. Okay, I guess. Is that right? Can I go to the 
I guess so. I guess so. Um, hello? Look. That's a nice face. I wonder if Pause. the figurine is still in there. Your what now? You know, my blue toy horse. With the kind of melted face. The one you stole from me. What? That never happened. Yeah, it did. I won it at that little Halloween carnival they had at the school every year. You grabbed it and hid it in the pot. Then How far away died, is he? You said there was a snake inside, too. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on. I think I remember the snake part, but you didn't win that horse. Where'd you go? And you there were you crying go. because you hadn't won anything, so I gave it to you. That makes no sense. Why would you hide it if you gave it to me? Because kids are kids? Allison. Tyler, are you good? <laughs> just, Please look at me. <laughs> just standing in the corner looking up. I wanted to see if the toy was in there. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, can you come here for a sec? I'm right here. What's up? Should I throw these pictures out? Oh, God. I don't know. Do you want memories before your transition? What's the supportive one? Um. I mean... Most of them are pretty happy memories. I guess. You look cute here. That's not me. I mean, it is, but... Uh... I don't know which one's the right one to say, but what sounds confrontational, don't worry, I get it, I don't think is accurate. Uh, I feel like why has it's been the nicer me. responses. I get it. It's just weird. That's valid. I'm seeing myself like that again. Didn't think a picture could throw me like this anymore. Uh, did therapy help? Has I don't know what to say here. Oh, yeah, definitely. My therapist really heard me when I said I was a guy, and she helped me get ready for the reactions I'd get, you know? It's dealing with other people that's been way harder than figuring myself out. Damn. At the end of the day, being able to look in the mirror and see Tyler, that's made the biggest difference. Which is Good. why I'm scheduling my top surgery as soon as we sell this house. No more putting a binder on every morning. God, that sounds fucking amazing. Yeah, totally. Just so you know, I'll be there to help out when you do. Whatever you need. <laughs> Thanks. Yay. All right. What's your verdict, Ronan? You know what? I'll keep a few. To remind us how far we've come. Yeah, I'm not... I don't have any, obviously, knowledge on that. So, like, whatever you think is best. I don't know what I would do in that situation. Hello? Who's that? Dad? Did we have a, we had, did we have a dad? Is dad the demon? Dad's the demon. That's my theory. Oh, man. I love this one. <laughs> Why do I look so pissed? I remember loving this. Maybe because Marianne was sticking a camera in your face? Uh, uh, where is it? There we go. Uh, Come on, honey, smile like Allison. Oh, is that oh, Eddie? Fish. It's not my fish anymore. Allison stole it. Who is that? What did the subtitle say? Did you see it? I didn't see My it. Sister, the fish thief. <laughs> you were just being bratty. Was I though? Yes. All I did was help clean it when we were out on the porch. Eddie had to force you to share. It was Eddie, okay. <sighs> Tyler's aesthetic is what I want to dress like. But I, I worry I'm I'm too thick and Hey Allison. Come take a break with me. Wouldn't look good on me. Hold on, I'm trying to remember something. I remember. Take your time. He's not gonna jump up and do the cha-cha. What about me? I wanna clean the fish too. It's not even your fish. You didn't catch anything. Ugh. Only because you wouldn't stop talking and scared all the fish away. Keep your eyes on what you're doing. Oh. Allison, 
When we're done with this half, you can take over and do the other move. That sound fair? Yes! Mm -mm. You're right. I was kind of being a brat. Starting the fire again? Yeah. I didn't I'm start the fire. Uh, it was on the Uh. Coffee. Would you rather have instant coffee or instant coffee? Hmm. Nah. Sorry. You I'm said earlier you wanted coffee. Tea person. Get it? Tea. As in. Mm hmm. Uh. How long have you been waiting to make that joke? Longer than I'm willing to admit. <laughs> I am so glad Eddie came through on my caffeine. Shh. Did you hear that? The Ice what? King is sending us a warning. The Ice, Ice King! King. <laughs> <laughs> Good Arcanta Kista! How Marceline! For your punishment, said the Ice King, you shall be banished from the You forest. guys look cool. Can I hang out? Come back before the new moon. You shall feel Twilight my anger moon? in your gut. Hear it in the wind. Whoosh! Hey, nice place you got here. Who lives in that place? <laughs> he may be intimidating, but he's always there and never near. Oh yeah, you're right. Maybe he tells the goblins to help the people they hurt. That's a weird dynamic to have. To tell the kids how to play their games. Yeah. It's it's odd to me. How engrossed all three of them are in these stories, but I'm wondering if like. There's more to it than I understand right now, or possibly at all. I think my dark and twisty version was better. We put so many Me. hours into that book. Yeah, our binder was full of extra drawings and incomplete stories. I think they're all still in the kitchen drawer. We should go take a look. It's in a book, reading rainbow. I can go anywhere. Oh, hashtag Lavar Burton for Jeopardy host. Oh, yeah, that's going on right now. <laughs> Allison's first drafts. Right. Well, at the time of recording this, who knows what happens by yeah. the time it goes up. True. We're doing Come this in on. the future. I know you did. You mean the past. I can't believe she kept all these. We're dropping this in the future. You think putting this them on the fridge for a couple of weeks would have been enough? You know how we thought of ourselves as the goblins? Did you ever get the sense that Maybe Marianne was the princess in the stories? Uh, yeah. She called her bedroom the princess's sanctum. And she was all alone in the woods, in this house, until we showed up. She was. Alone. But with a few friends who helped her along the way. What are you doing? Oh, just like the intro. She... The animals so are if Marianne people was from the, the town. Princess, then who were all the rest? And here we go. Oh, come on. Humor me. Oh, I think I already got it. W what am I... Because the pelican is Tessa because of the food. The moose is Eddie because of the fish. And then the bear mm -hmm. is Sam. Mm -hmm. Womp. Use the force. You must go to the Dagobah system. Oh. oh, I gotta oh. line it up. Okay. Swap. You go here. That's it. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Look. Hmm. Pelican. She was the most generous one. <laughs> yeah. But there was always a catch. I solved the puzzle. Okay, so yeah, what do you... Pull, yes, you know. Pull up the Book of Goblins, maybe? Oh, uh, maybe. Oh my god. Mm. Oh, this is all the stories. This, this is the story that okay. we read already. Okay. I made them, yeah, this is the one about the gifts. Okay. Yeah, this is... Oh wait, Tyler. Yeah. Show to Tyler. I think I'm done. You sure? Y yes? Read off the names. Oh, definitely. Oh, yeah. How do you like them apples? You know, I think you might be onto something. Yeah. What about these guys? I don't see them being real life people. Guess who? This one. <laughs> oh, the demonry? 
Good. Nothing. We're just gonna stare at it. You better hurry, or the Mad Hunter will get us. We need to hide this way. <gasps> what's what's going on? I I don't know. Is he here? Is he really here? I'm scared. Go away. Ugh. So wait, is it a ghost? Because we saw it at the police station. Oh, it's looking at them through time. It's looking at them through time. I forgot about that. We've been pretending <clears throat> he was there. And then suddenly he was. That was the only time that happened, right? Nope. Allison. <sighs> wait. Did we it summon it? way too real. It was... Us. Pushing our imagination door. way too far. I mean, right. if there's three more characters, Grandmaster of Bad Timing. Maybe we haven't met the We're hunter not done yet. with this conversation. Morning, Sam. Well, Sam's the bear. Oh, hey, Is he a bear hunter? I ran into Chief Brown, who said you were starting the cleanup on the house this morning. So uh, I kind of figured you might need some supplies. That's. Thank you. That was very thoughtful. No, oh, uh, also got something for you, Tyler. Oh. Every man needs a good knife. Oh, it's a peace offering or an olive branch. Thanks, Sam. Also, Allison can good. certainly yeah. use a knife if good. need yeah. be for things, but I, I appreciate the sentiment. Yeah. Oh, and before I forget, is he our the lady of the house? It was your mom's favorite recipe. Still make it darn near every week. Think of right. it. Yeah. <laughs> Still sexist, but yay accepting uh, of Tyler. Yes. But we don't have a stove. Still no electricity. Oh yeah, that fuse box is busted. <laughs> Just another thing I've been meaning to put back together around here. Where is it? I can take care of it. Oh, I don't doubt you can. But, uh, I've been kicking this thing back to life for the last 20 some years. Yeah, are you yeah. sus? I'm thinking Sam's the demon. You think Sam's I, the demon I'm as well as the, the bar, bear? I think me. so. I think it's a we'll be right behind you. misdirection. Not to say a family needs to have a dad, but I'm wondering if... And it could all be that we're both right. Mm -hmm. I think the demon is indicative of like when the dad would come to visit or True. something. True. Because think about it, what if that night she grabbed her gun because he was there to try to take yep. them or something? Come on. I just made this really dark. Electricity back on. I'm okay. I had a question. Hmm. Is it messed up, like, considering what the town knows about their history, to give Tyler a knife about what happened that night? No, well, I mean, think of it like a scout knife. Like, it was okay. like, you're out here no. in the woods, you need uh, a knife. I see what you're getting you know what at, mean? though. Yeah, okay. School. I graduated already. Outdoor studies. Oh, outdoor studies, huh? Well, you looking at me? It's a good thing I came along when I did. You know, I built this here barn for your mama. Uh, you really helped. You really helped her out, huh? Now, you know, just a few chores here and there. As I'll do you one better. To help. What if the idea of giving Tyler a knife not only a peace offering of I see you as a man, but also it's we I trust you with Anyways, a uh, weapon like that. All right. key. Room Valid. for both rooms of thought. Valid. You still have our keys? Wait. Wait, Sam. You have more of our keys? Yeah. The one for the barn's called a railroad key. See, it's got this special tip that you can... Fascinating. Yeah, this is weird. I'll take that off your hands now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Figured I might still need to do some maintenance, so uh, yeah, not nope. necessary. We're good. <laughs> Give him the house. key. <laughs> Fair warning. Door's a bit temperamental. What the? What happened to me? Because you're tight. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and one of the doors. What? You think I just hang out here all day or something? 
Here, son, give me a try. Good. Here, when you twist it as far as you I can, think we're both the right. Left. Yeah. In our own ways. Yeah. Oops. Sam is definitely sus. No. She There's didn't. more to him. There's yes. more to him. That means the eye. Like us. We are waiting. <laughs> we are here. What I've done. Rest in peace, Chester Bennington. F in the chat. Oh, F in the chat. The door's <laughs> open now. Yeah. Uh, well, that's easy enough. All right. Oh, God. Oh, no. Not gonna fix itself. I walked back to hear the conversation better. All right. Fuses go into plugs. Should be easy enough. Um. What do I do? Marianne, I wrapped up your electrical board. I gotta run, but in case you want to check it out, careful not to overload the circuits. You'll have to use 15 amp fuses for the garage. Uh, amps total up to 120 amp for the whole house. Sam, P.S. Pretty proud of myself for once I've respected the right color coding. Each fuse should have the right color cable. Pass me that handle. Yeah, sure. Thank you. Okay, well, I don't know what these are supposed to, what, what they look like. You okay? Yeah, uh, do you have another 20? Yeah. yeah. I didn't know how many I Yeah, had. I didn't know. I'm, it doesn't tell me what I have. This is very strange. Life is strange. I, I get it. And then another 20 there. Uh, yes. Hmm? Seems good. Yay! Hey! Okay, I think I get what they were going for, but yeah, I didn't feel like I had all the information there, but maybe if I had accidentally cut off the conversation, I would have got it more. Maybe, yeah. Yikes. You damn fool. Everything okay? You, uh, hmm, too look like you got this all in hand, so, um. Oh, what if he got her the gun just in case, and then that's Bye. what she ended up using? Mm. There's definitely something there. What was that about? Oh, wait, there's something on the shelf. Would she, what? What am I looking at? Upper. Go up. To the left. Yeah. Found Marianne's stash. Those have definitely gone bad. As far as... Does canned food really Oops. expire? I mean, it's airtight, it right? Uh, not gonna be the one to test that out. Canned food expires. It does take a lot longer because it's canned, but yes, it does. Huh, look at this. I think this is where she made all her toys. She oh, was so okay. wow. Lefty. And she could draw and write and take pictures. She could have been an artist instead of just locking herself up out here. Well, not everybody needs to Toilet make their artistry tubes, into a career. Rope, cardboard. But maybe a car. Ooh, or a tank. Me. My butt is still wood. <laughs> Please finish me. My butt is still a tree. Please finish me. Uh really? Are you cooing at a spider? It had better be a tiny one. Don't listen to the mean lady. You're an eight-legged... What are we going to do with this oh, wreck? No, I want to look at the spider. Ah, oh, god damn it. Be my guest. Be my guest. It sure looks like a pile of junk to me. Where you see junk, I see dollars. I mean, there could be something valuable about it. Damn it, I, was, I thought I was looking at the spider... I wonder why Sam got so upset. Oh, he probably forgot he was all out of bourbon. Damn. <laughs> Damn, bro. <laughs> something got to him. Well, something about it really got to her. I don't think any of us are exactly happy to see that gun rack. Uh, Remind play. me to take it Very down true. later. Fair enough. Predator rep. What's that? Wolf pee. Ew, Blech. what? Do not fill it on. T Rex P. <laughs> oh yeah. Why is there wolf pee in our barn? 
You asked the question Wait, legitimately, so I asked it in the game. Thing, I don't want to know. Ah. You wish it scares off predators. But it also summons a wolf. Ugh, lovely. Me. Oh, we already examined that. Can you go to the right for a second? Uh, and to the left? Oh, wait, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm always watching. All right, that's, I don't want to have the comforting voice. I'm always watching. But so. I'm Turbo the Snail. And I'm the devil. <laughs> Jesus. That's spooky as hell. Yeah. What's creepy is, like, I get that probably from the illustrations they see it too, but it's spooky that, like, they all illustrate that character the same way. Yeah. I guess it, it's always possible that both are Sam, but it's weird. Why would they literally just now tell us Sam's the bear and then make us think Sam's also the hunter? True. Um, but maybe he was the hunter if they if that is their dad? I don't know. If we're not both right somehow, I think one of us is very close. I'd be surprised if nothing that we've been uh, spewing out of our brains isn't even like a little bit true. What do I do now? Um, keep looking at things until Tyler picks up a picture. I've looked at all the things. I know, right? <laughs> oh, look at this. I think this is where she made all our toys. Uh -huh. I think so too. Until Tyler picks hey, up. Hey Tyler, isn't there a picture you want to pick up? Maybe right there? <laughs> Sure thing, B boy. Allison, do you know who this is? What did you find? Do you know who that is? Uh, yeah, yeah, we did it. That's Carol, Eddie's mom. I've seen other pictures of her, but never this one. Man, look at is Brown. this morbid, Mamma Mia? Man, she looks really happy. We don't know who the dad is. <laughs> Careful, the glasses. Ow. Broken. So far. Are you okay? It stings. Let's go see mom. But she'll get mad. You weren't even supposed to be here. So it better be good after all the trouble <laughs> we went through to unmess this. Come on, it's gonna get infected. Follow the memory. One night, yeah, one more time. Thanks for the memories. She said not to disturb her and Eddie. Uh-oh. Why, what are her and Eddie doing? Oh. Who is the father? Things were different when she was around. We were family, Eddie. How could you do that to me? Um. Look. What? They're looking off to the left, right? Call. Yeah. Yeah. What were they talking about? I can't figure out what's going on. I don't know, but I remember that whatever Eddie had to do, whatever that call was about, it was tearing him up. Tearing him up? He was being a total cop, and Marianne got pissed and threw him out. Here. Was he staying? I'm show you what I remember. Over here, Allison. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> this got interesting. Mamma Mia, indeed. I had to make that call. I was just following the law. Oh, yeah? And this little visit right here? What would the law say about this, huh? Look, what? I didn't have to come out here, but I did. You're a goddamn hypocrite. Get out of here. Who's the father? I said get out! Out! Also, yes, yeah, stand up for yourself, queen. Go off. What? She didn't throw the picture at him. You sure about that? He was being a complete dick. How can you be sure? We were eavesdropping. We could barely see a thing. What do you think happened then? Oh my god. <clears throat> you are very biased in this though, Allison. No offense. I had to make that call. I was following procedure. What I'm legally required to do. Then why are you here? Pretty sure this isn't procedure. I wanted you to hear it from me. Mary Ann, I'm sorry. Get your hands off her. Yeah. Just go. I'm also nosy and want to see the kids. <laughs> I 
How do we keep remembering the same thing so differently? It was a long time ago, and, well, memory's a tricky thing. Wait, when did that happen? I, I'm not sure. I, I think it was the exact same day she attacked you. That's what I thought. But Uncle Eddie said he hadn't seen Marianne for weeks. Yeah, that was bullshit. And what yeah, was all that Uncle about Eddie might be lying to you. What was he doing here exactly? Uh, I have no idea. He must have had his reasons for not oh, oops. <laughs> Yeah. Look, I know he took care of you, but that doesn't make him incapable of lying. I Valid. can't see him being that cold with Marianne, even if he was being a cop. I mean, I can, but who knows? I guess memory is a tricky thing, huh? Hmm. Choose Tyler's memory, Marianne was angry. Choose Allison's memory, Marianne was sad. Marianne was angry. Yep. Yeah. Get out of here. Get off my property right now. Is the idea that we're controlling the narrative or just their perception of it? They each have different memories. No, so. I'm saying when we, the player, choose a memory. Oh, that's Are we constructing the story of she was agree. angry? Brown came out here and bullied hmm. Marianne the same day Don't she Don't know yet, actually. Life is and strange. And lied about it. Tell me now my what? life is strange, too. We go and get a straight answer from him. Right now? Yes. I'll go get my car to me, keys. it's like they're choosing which one. Oh, well, no, I, I understand do without in the game, but right. I'm saying outside of that, also I, language, oh. um, I'm saying are we picking the path of Marianne was sad, or is it because oh. it, it, it felt like that for a second where it was almost like, choose your own adventure. If you, if you choose Marianne was sad, go to page mm -hmm. 32. If you think Marianne was angry, go to page 36. Man. Yeah, not sure I about that. I can't believe lied. I mean, I may not be the guy's biggest fan, but he's always talking about the truth and the law. And shit. Definitely you interesting. Have to be so happy about it. He what? could be the know, dad or connected for there. Like this. Something that proves Eddie's an asshole. Because think about it. He's like, oh, well, the court said really you shouldn't cool. see each other for a while. It's like, what if he also could make I'm that call? Hmm. Yeah, J just a sec. I'm parking the car. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Or it could be red herring you and we haven't met their dad yet because I could also see the world where he came to warn her that like the dad was on his way there or found in town or we'll say released from jail or something. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Not to I don't know. I'm saying like what would a what would a police officer friend come tell you with the information they have? Okay, Tina. What's going on? Hi, hon. I've got someone who is Tina? Super interested in seeing the house. Oh, that's amazing. Uh when? They're just in the area for a couple of days, so they'd like to come by day after tomorrow. Oh. Uh, day after tomorrow? That's tomorrow. <laughs> Hon, this guy is very motivated, but I know he's looking at other properties. It's not like you've had people breaking down the door. I appreciate that, but we've kind of got a lot going on over here. Did I mention it would be an all-cash offer? Oh God! What do it's I do? Not the right time. That's what you want to do. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's it's not the right time. A cash offer, Allison. I'm sorry. But I guess it would betray Tyler. List. I don't want to waste anyone's time. Okay. Well, you tell me when you're ready. Huh? Well, I think I just made Tina's shit list. Well, I don't care who Tina is. <laughs> D and I did that trail a couple years ago. We drank ice cold beers when we reached the summit. That actually sounds like a really great day. Whose votes are you looking to win out here, Tom? The bears? Da bears. Um, <laughs> I'm a very trail oriented person with hiking, but God, that would be so nice. Hiking and have some cold beers and look out at the, the scenery. <laughs> they are I've never been to Alaska, really but I want to go. Point. Dorian Key. Kind of rings a bell. That does sound familiar. Me. This tree is my tail and my toilet. <laughs> Looks like you found a nice spot. We've been here before, right? Maybe. I feel like I've been here before. 
That like that. That looks so pretty. Yeah. Okay, anyway. So, Tina. Tina West, our realtor. Oh, that Tina. What'd she need? She had someone who wanted to see the house, but he could only come by day after tomorrow. And you told her no? Yeah. Yeah. Need more time than that to get things. Good call, out. Mike. Thank you. You know. Thanks. But what if it's the only call we get? And I guess we just grow old and lose our minds in that fucking house. Meh. Yikes. Sounds like a plan. So, before Tina called, we were talking? Yeah. I'm not happy your foster father fucked up. Oh, yeah? Because you sure sounded like he it. He hid information about Marianne. Okay, yeah, I'm glad we didn't you fight just before the fight. Rub it in. I get it. You're always gonna side with him over me. Come on, that's, that's not, not what we did. Then why do you keep doing it? This town we didn't. These people, yeah. They're just memories to We've you. We've only but sided with home, you, Tyler. Tyler. My friends, my family. And as much as I want answers, I'd rather not lay waste to my entire life to get them. I uh, screw that. I want the truth. Your life, Allison. Just want some answers. I know. That's why we're doing all this, right? I think there's definitely an out. Uh, you know, so cold day. I like the view. Eddie warned me about this. Screw that. I like this view. Our hometown looks pretty picturesque from here, doesn't it? You're way more attached to this place than you let on. Uh, about the house sale. What's there to say? Uh, but I still want to live in the Call of the Wild. You really want to live somewhere super secluded like this, alone in a cave, speaking for the trees? I do. Super like the Lorax. <laughs> I just don't think of you as a loner. You and I always did everything together. <laughs> well, you're way less terrible than other people. This is nice. You feeling that tie? Yeah. Ugh. Vibrated. Oh, oh, we have memories here. Found you, North Star. Okay, now you're the star, and I'm the compass. Okay. Oh, it's hide and seek. And don't cheat. I know you were sending me fake hints last time. I did not. Yes, you did. Okay, okay, I won't do it again. <laughs> you were always accusing me of cheating. Because you totally did. It was a cool game. Guessing where you were just by feeling what you felt. Uh, no one else could play with us? Uh, sure. Yeah, the Freaks one makes me feel bad. No one else could play it with us. That was the beauty of it. For real? You never wanted any other friends? Nah, not really. I mean, we had each other. That was enough for me. So, not too disappointed I turned down our chance to be billionaires? Nah, all that money would have made me soft. And I've spent way too many years polishing my edgy side. You now were right I feel like I screwed them over. I was being a jerk about Eddie. I'm all for enjoying the wins as they come. But maybe not at the expense of my father figure. I'll try my best. Yeah, thank you. It's tough, man. Like, this stuff so is so, I like, specific. I'm not sure we're getting any answers out of Eddie. You won't have a choice. We're not ten years old anymore. Uh, he's overprotective. He tries to protect me from everything. <sighs> Occupational hazard. He was always so worried about how I was left out at school, so he'd make me throw these huge birthday parties and invite everyone. And they'd all have to show up because you were the chief's daughter? Bingo. But 
then they Ugh. didn't actually talk That's to me. Weird, yeah. So I felt like a stranger in my own house. I know the feeling. Hey, hey Tyler, pee? look what I found. <laughs> 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 got a treat. I got chips, sour candy. Can I get back in the car? It's a sour candy. <laughs> oh, Ollie and Allison. Aha. I knew it was still here. I knew we'd been here before. They claimed it as part of the Roman kingdom. And it still is. All it needs is a little update. Tea. What are you doing? What I wanted to do back then, but I didn't have the guts. There, looking better already. You're right. Way better. Let me see. There we go. That actually looks really cool. to the old graffiti on the tree. <clears throat> so, what's the plan? We steal inside, all of it. Calmly the whole office. Why he was there that day. All right. Let's try to let him get his side of the story out. There's okay. a map on the back of the Declaration of Independence. Uh-huh. <laughs> I'm gonna put lemon juice oh, on it. Yeah. <laughs> I understand, Mr. Barrow. I'll be sure to let him know. Yes, the computer we broke into for no reason. Yes, I have it all written down. Watch, I it turns out something done. really important. We just didn't realize it at the time. <laughs> morning, Missy. How do you get stuck working reception? Rose called in sick this morning. I'm covering for her while I try to get my paperwork done. What are you doing here? Just checking in with Uncle Eddie. I'm guessing from the identical features that this is Tyler. Tyler, Denise, Denise, Tyler. What's up? Hey. Wilson, could you tell Officer Vincenzi that I'll be... Oh, good morning, Allison. Hi, Uncle. And Tyler? I'm going to take Dr. Torres' statement. No need for Vincenzi to come back to the station. I'm well, thank you, Edward. He doesn't seem like he's in the best of moods. Yeah, I don't know what's going on, but he's been a little off all day. Good luck. Great. Here's an excuse. No, ah, oh, goddammit. Hey, he speaks. How's Delos treating you so far? Um, happy to see you, Allison. It's been good to see Allison. She's been talking nonstop about you lately. I know she's happy to have you here. Hey, been meaning to say, Allison showed us that article you wrote for the Juno Daily last year. You were spot on. The state needs to be giving way more money to youth centers. Fireweed was lucky to have you. Um... I loved working with them. Thanks. I spent a lot of time fighting for more outdoor activities. Made some enemies in the administration over that one. But the first time those kids summoned Mount Roberts, man, they were so proud. It felt great. I know exactly what you mean. I um, volunteer sometimes with the JCE. I give lectures about police work, lead group talks when I can. Um, that's awesome. Wait. Really? That's awesome. Yeah, and I don't mean to preach, but the kids in those groups, be it Fireweed or the JCE, they need people who really understand them. People who know where they're coming from and will fight for what they need. Anyways, sorry for the rant. Oh, hello, kids. Hello, Greetings, fellow adult. kids. Everything all right? Hello? Oh my god, you just went on without me. It's optimistic. It feels like every time we clear out a drawer, two more just appear out of thin air. Ah, yes. If I saw this guy in real life, I'd be uncomfortable. Yeah. When we emptied Linda's parents' house. Oof. I thought we'd have to rent a backhoe. How is Linda? I feel like I haven't seen her in months. Good. Yeah, she started working over at the high school as the librarian. Pay's not great, but she gets to see the kids every day, so. I bet Brendan's thrilled. Oh yeah. Happy as any teenager who's got to spend extra time with his mom. Well, I'll let you work. Eh, no worries. You're not a bother. 
Hi and hi, I'm Tyler. Dr. Torres, you said your daughter was with you during the incident? Yes, she was. I'll need her information too, though. Can you give me her name and date of birth? Okay. Isabella Henderson, July 16, 2000. We're just watching this happen. This is kind of weird. Like, we're just chilling. This feels illegal. Oh. Yeah. My ex husband. Does she live with you most of the time? No, her father has primary custody because of my hours. She stays with me on the weekends. I'm sorry to hear that, miss. Uh, okay, there we go. Tyler, shall we? Yep. Okay. Cool. Ma'am, can you leave? I hope you're morning. everything's okay with your child. Good morning, Tyler. Hey, Bro. could we talk to you in private? It's a little urgent. Yeah, he's giving me bad you vibes. Me for a second, Dr. Torres. What's going on, you two? We had a few more questions about our mother. Look, now's not the best time. Well, maybe we can come back later then? <coughs> Excuse me. Come on. Guys, I'm understaffed today. I've got a receptionist out sick, an officer dealing with personal issues. I need to finish taking this woman's statement and I don't have time to chat right now. We were just hoping for some answers. Well, I don't know what more you think I'm going to say. I already told you everything. I need to get back to this complaint. Sorry, guys. What the hell? Dick. That was like sus. Stubborn like that. So what now? Um, we get the truth ourselves. Well, he's obviously not going to give us the truth. So I say we go get it ourselves. Whoever's coughing over our psychic conversation. I don't know. The archive room? Maybe Eddie's office? Wait, you're not seriously thinking of breaking and entering a police archive. Go big or go home. Could you go through the full details of your morning with me, Dr. Let's go. Of course. two up to over there everything all right uh yeah everything's fine we're just uh i was just telling tyler where the upstairs bathroom is tyler help me out here oh uh yeah toilet emergency lake water you know mother nature's juice cleanse there's a bathroom just past the break room behind you first door on your right forget it tyler there's no way we're getting upstairs out in the open like that <sighs> it's too it. suspicious there must be another Go way up to... There's a camera right there. There's no access to the first floor this way. Brr. Go to the front room where you entered, next to the reception. Brr. There's a map out there. Could you go through the? Oh, I was just gonna start moving. Meh. All right. Let's see. Yeah, there's stairs, right? Yeah. There. It opens up to a staircase on the side of the building, but it'll definitely be locked from the inside. If one of us were to create a diversion, the other could slip upstairs and we open the door. And since you're the troublemaker, I nominate you as the one to make a scene. Wait, really? Not a better idea? Yeah, you'd think she would do it. Hm. Uh, I'm a bad actor. Aren't cops, like, trained to notice suspicious behavior? I'm not exactly an amazing actor. Figure out something simple and commit. I have faith in you. I guess you gotta have faith. Oh, well, wouldn't it be I nice? Get it. I get it. Okay. So now I gotta do something. Gotta cause a distraction. Ooh, a hat! Emergency evacuation exercises throughout the week. Every morning at 8.30 when the drill starts, step away from your station. Close but do not lock all doors. Oh, pull the fire alarm. How about saying someone's climbing the fence? Really? I can pretend they're outside, trying to break in. Uh, all right. All right. Nope, that doesn't sound right. <laughs> I'm glad I have options for this. Just turn off the lights. Yeah, try it. <laughs> Where's the fire alarm? What are... I can knock this over. That pile of paperwork? What about it? I could tip it over. 
kind of messy, but sure. What one do you think is the best? Um, I'd say either try the try the paperwork or the light switch. Oh, there's a fire. I literally can't do the only oh holding cell. I literally can't do the only one that makes sense. No. You saying do the paperwork? Yeah. You erase the whiteboard. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Let's do it. Jesus, Tyler, what happened? Sorry, I wasn't looking where I was going. Just leave that there. That's it. All right. All right. I'm in position. What now? Turn right when you exit the station and follow the side of the building. The staircase will be right there. Okay. We're spies now. Mm -hmm. Totally spies. Totally. Did you ever watch that? Once. Uh. I need a smoke, but don't smoke, kids. Yeah, I need a smoke. You should think about quitting. Yeah. Yeah. While you do it. Yeah, yeah. I know. While you're at it, get your sister to stop, too. Smoking is bad, kids. Allison. Yeah, they said it earlier, and I didn't know if they meant, uh, okay. you know, medicine or nicotine. Just go right. Oh, this, I'm assuming? Uh, look. Shit. Where are you? Right here. Open the door. Uh, nope. Well, nobody saw that. Quick, get in. Oh, God, what did I just do? You took control of your destiny. Own it. The police chief of Delos Crossing hosts charity events? Huh? Oh, yeah. The community social. He volunteered to help. Since he pretty much knows everyone, and more importantly, who's called the cops on who, he's in charge of the taking charge. If Eddie catches us in here... There's no turning back now. I guess the desk? Mm-hmm. Nothing else looks too standout-ish. Ooh! You just wanted me to find this. Huh. Well, I didn't know what that <laughs> Though we are destined to burn, we emerge as stardust. Is that... Oh no. <laughs> oh what? yes. Burn it. Burn it with fire. What? Floating around the. Oh god, Paris seeds. I search for you, my all weighed in the dragon's head. I roam alone while other stars burn into my zone, but they cannot be observed, for I see only you and push the others out of my Milky Way into another galaxy and remove. The gradients to better view your radiance, and though we are destined to burn, we emerge as stardust to make the universe anew. And there is only me, and only you. Hmm. Poetry, it rhymed. Yeah. Personnel files, department budgets. Huh. The Dallas Police Force is getting a new officer. Finally. He might work? That's what you like to see. His sandwich artist and Metro Sandwiches. He's also a veteran. Oh, there you Thank go. Thank you for your service, fictitious person. This guy has a record, and not a short one. Why is he even in the running? Shh. Eddie has a really hard time hiring uh. people out here. I don't think he has a choice. Uh. Yes, always a choice. Drug paraphernalia, flight to avoid you prosecution, giving testimony, armed robbery. I'm uncomfortable. I guess there's paperwork Seriously? in the back. Oh. You're gonna try to hack into his computer? We're here for information, and computers are basically information pinatas. Good morning, everyone. Please remember your presence is required Wednesday, November 11th at 1300. I need us all there to speak now. If you can't attend, and I'll reschedule. Uh, as I said this morning, we'll be talking about implicit bias. This is not punishment. It has nothing to do with the dismissal of Randy Spears. We can all benefit from the discussion no matter who we are. Uh, 
I've attached some reading material we'll be discussing and I'm available if there are any questions. I mean, good, right? Implicit bias? Yeah. Right? Yeah. That's good. Huh. Tom invited Eddie over for dinner? Oh, Ooh. yeah. Uh, he's been trying way too hard to get Eddie's endorsement. Does um. he? Support Tom? He preferred staying neutral. Whoa. Brown looked at our file this morning. Wait, what? Oh. What does that mean? I don't, I don't know. But there's a reference number. R68653. Okay, good. Yeah, transcripts of phone calls have been taken out, but you can find the digitized calls through the appendix if you don't get anything else. Oh, One so he did pull it up. The archives. That's got to be where our file is. Oh, it's Allison graduating. That's sweet. Um, I'm uncomfortable. Look in the back corner. Back here? Yeah, there should be some files. I may check the other side. That's a thing. There. Looks like this is where Brown keeps all his personal mail. Why is Brown on a first name basis with the director of Fireweed? Oh. It's an invoice. Eddie oh. Brown, you'll find and close the final invoice for resident Tyler Ronan. The Fireweed administration would like to thank you for all of the support you've given us over the years. Huh. More back doors and secret moves. Maybe he didn't want to waste your time. Well, now I feel like I'm in his debt. Oh, he was paying for his stay there. Hmm. Oh. I'm con I don't know how that kind of stuff works. Looks like so. he's working with the Office of Child Services on the case. None of our business. Okay. Oh, this is making me sad and very uncomfy. But I'm also a nosy bitch. You were <laughs> to a summer drama program back in 2009? I did. They rejected me. No, they didn't. Chose to go together. Two hours apart. I was busted for the summer with no one but Justin Bieber to talk to. What? Well, uh, this letter says you got in. What the hell? Just, we just pretended to come? I'm sorry, Allison. Shouldn't be surprised you've lied to me in the past. Then why are you defending him so aggressively? I mean, also, I think Allison's theme is more centered in uh, denial. Mm hmm Or re repressing things, right? Yeah. Because she's had to hold on to the fact that she was the one who technically killed their mom. Or actually did. Oh, crap. We need the code. Please tell me you know what the code is. To the highly confidential police archive? Then how am I supposed to open the door? I've spent hours playing next to this room. I see people go inside all the time. The keypad right, says this little tune. Dum da dee do. <laughs> Seriously? Go on, try. Dumb. Da. D? Yeah. Do. Nailed it. Yes. Oh, we can't smoke in here, huh? Rats. Nor should you ever smoke, it's bad for you. No stank you. Uh, looks like they're finally going digital. Oh, that's right. I remember Wait, Eddie complaining about this. We're gonna have to resort everything. Great. They've digitized their closed files, but only the ones before 1990. Meaning? Meaning our file is still somewhere in those boxes. Perfect. A room of scattered case files and a half-ton sorting system. Yep. This is going to be so fun for you. I'm going to go keep a lookout. What? Why do I have to be the one stuck with box duty? Because if anyone sees me, I'll have a better excuse for being there. Reach out if you need anything. R68653. Look it up. Look it up, she says. Okay. Uh. What was it again? 05R6? R, R68? Okay. That's R66. Misk. Misk. Nope. 
this one either. Okay, these are tells. Oh, okay, that's good. Yeah. Well. Um. Huh. What was that reference number again? Zero five R sixty eight six fifty three. Zero five R sixty eight. Zero five. Horribly out of order. That's R66. We want R68. Yeah. Oh my god. 05 R63. 05 R68. Here we Yay. go. Yay! Eureka. I did it! Da -na -na -na. You found the case file about what happened when you and your sister had to kill your mother in self defense. Can Equip it to the screen by pressing A. Uh, step by step Can I get a compass instead? <laughs> Uh, 2235 notified by my partner officer, Christian Holt, of accident at 12 Canary Road, Dallas Crossing. Uh, white female identified as Marianne Ronan, date of birth, uh, July 8th, 1964, falling over deck into lake. Audio recording tape 36359 and then 36360. Brown, Holt and I arrived at the scene, briefed by patrol officer Jay Chan of incident, Brown, uh, located witness, minor's name redacted, Ronan and minor's name redacted. Ronan, D.O.B., March 7th, 94. That's almost my birthday. Children of Mary Ann Ronan couldn't get a statement from them as they were under dire stress and shock. The children were taken under care of patrol officer J. Chan Brown. Uh, coroner investigator T. Dickens arrived at scene, rolled prints of victim crime lab Tech Otelli at scene, completed photographs of scene and recovered an unlicensed Rassler 3121 shotgun. Bullets recovered from location barn. Brown. Well, so far I'm not seeing anything we didn't know already. It does Corner to some other files and audio recordings though. You might be able to look those up on the computer. Even if our file hasn't been digitized yet, they may already have it in the appendix. Uh, interview children at station stated that after minor's name redacted, Ronan's hair was cut by sister. Uh, Marianne Ronan threatened name redacted Ronan with a gun. When name redacted, Ronan fled from her. She pursued child to the docks. Ronan stabbed uh, M.A. Ronan, who, who was still threatening the child before falling over to the water. Witnesses state they called 911 shortly after brown canvas crime scene did not recover pair of scissors claimed by minor name redacted uh presented to the case dab cruz charged minor ronan with homicide jesus and now we're going to the computer mm -hmm. goddamn technology all right i'm in you can search by keywords what should i look for i don't know mary ann ronan march 1st 2005 Wow, this all happened around my birthday, huh? <laughs> Neat. <laughs> oh, controls aren't good. Ah, oh, crap, I can't see it. Uh, 24 hour homicide report, victim information, and crime summary. Do, did I do this wrong? No, so we want, we got the storage numbers. Oh, God. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. Do you just have that on the I do. Okay. <laughs> so I found it. Just help yeah. me remember. <laughs> 05R61, 05R62. References. Uh, one of those boxes 05, is already on the table. R62, 766. 05R62. That helped a lot. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I have her autopsy report. Okay. She. Got her. What is it? She drowned. She stabbed her. It was not fatal. What? Wait, what? Ooh, the music. Did you hear that? Yeah. Oh, it's creepy. DOA, po uh, DOA post drowning, one stab wound in the left loin, two degrees to assault, sea scissors by daughter, nil known PMH, bloody froth seen in mouth and nose. Oh my God. Waterlogged lungs, mm. pulmonary edema. Should I just, I, I don't want to read all the. Yeah, it's the die ball. Homicide, how did injury occur with scissors? Victim then fell over dock in a freeze lake water. Yeah, 15 centimeter stab wound. God, this is... I don't want to read through all this. Yeah. I'm sorry, everybody. Heart heart blood. Uh, toxicology analyst ordered, screened uh, alcohol positive. Okay. okay. So, yeah, she was drunk. Okay. Okay. 
The music's creepy. The music is getting very unsettling. Dallas Crossing Police Department. Hello? Hello? Uh, hello. I can hear you. It's my mom. She, she fell in the water and she's not coming up. Okay, where are you now? Home. We're home. Are you alone? Where's your dad? It's just me and my sister. All right, honey, can you give me your address? 12 Cannery Road. Please, hurry. Just stay right where you are, Cannery, okay? my bad. We're sending someone out to help you. Don't hang up. I think they hung up. Mm. Dallas Crossing Police, Dallas Crossing Police Department. Is this the other one? Yeah. Okay. 05R61. Mm -hmm. Okay. Need to check out zero five R sixty one eight eighty nine. There. At least there's no like timer. Yeah. Um, report of homicide. Victim name Marianne Ronan. Race Caucasian. Gender female. Five six hundred thirty eight. Uh, Forty one. License number. No languages. Unemployed. Uh, Date and time. On dock at Lakeside, victim threatened her child with a gun. Child stabbed her with a pair of scissors. Victim subsequently fell into lake. Reporting employees, initials, last name, serial number. Minor's name redacted, Ronan White, 3794. Address. It's weird that this happened around their birthday, which is like literally between the 2nd and the 7th is my birthday, March yeah. 4th. It's weird to keep reading that. Uh, combined evidence report. Article shotgun serial number registered. Yeah, it was Sam's gun. That's what he meant by Ooh. you damn fool. He gave her the gun. I wonder if she was at. Maybe she asked for one. Maybe. Or he was like, oh, this will help. I found a summary of everything. Wow. This is a real detective novel. Brown's quite the wordsmith. He's not a writer, Tyler. Crime summary. On March 1st, 2005, at around 2200, the victim, Marianne Ronan, a 41-year-old white female, exited her home and entered her garage to start loading a Rassler shotgun. Shortly after her child, redacted Ronan, 11 years old, entered the garage to display a new haircut given by sister, redacted Ronan. According to witnesses, redacted Ronan's statement, when she saw the child's haircut, Marianne became enraged and threatened and redacted Ronan with shotgun. Redacted Ronan fled the garage towards the lake, calling for help. Marianne followed, still armed, out into the dock on the southern side of the property. Hearing the noise, witness, witness minor name redacted Ronan also came out of the house towards the dock where she observed minor name redacted Ronan under threat from Mary Ann, defend themselves by stabbing mother with a pair of scissors. At that time, both witnesses state M.A. Ronan lost consciousness and fell into the lake. Department Officer Christian Holt received a phone call from Redacted de detailing the incident. Officer Jay Chan was dispatched to the scene upon arrival. They set up a containment of the scene, began a crime scene log, and started tending to both juveniles, Redacted and Redacted Ronan. See the statements for further description. Oh my god. Christian Holt notified his officer partner, Eddie Brown, by telephone of the incident before dispatch to the scene investigation. Holt and Brown arrived at the scene at 2258. They noticed the crime scene was located entirely outdoors. Cannery Road is a secluded road, mostly comprised of a few residential cottages. Detectives observed a loaded Rassler shotgun on the dock. No rounds have been discharged. They directed forensic personnel to recover items. Detectives were directed to witness minor name redacted and minor name redacted. Minor name redacted Ronan stated that she heard screaming while she was upstairs in her bedroom. She ran downstairs and looked over the kitchen window and saw her sibling and their mother, Marianne, on the docks. Marianne was threatening her child with her gun. Redacted tried to run away, but Marianne threatened that she was going to shoot. According to both witnesses, she stated, I'm going to kill you. Ronan then stabbed Marianne Ronan with the pair of scissors trying to escape. Marianne Ronan then fell into the water unconscious. Evidence item wrestler for forensic report for further details. This one? Uh, yeah. Been there. Don't think of. 501 calm. Okay, here it is. Jesus. Unbelievable. Brown reported Marianne to child services. What? Whoa, what? Are you? What's going on? Uh, display name Brown. Attempted delivery successful. Office of Child Services. Oh, so this is not related to the murder. Okay. It's a it's a confirmation of a fax that he sent to Child Services about Marianne. 
holy crap, all this stuff makes me so itchy and uncomfortable. Uh, so, Mar child service, yep. Marianne? Uh, child service and recording. Got something. This is Officer Eddie Brown. Hello, Officer Brown. This is Simone Prue from the Office of Child Services. Hello, Mrs. Prue. I'm calling about the Ronan family. Uh, I just wanted to let you know that we will be moving forward with the case. Uh, I see. Is there anyone additional we should interview while we're in the area? Yeah, um, Samuel Kansky is a close friend of the family. Uh-huh. Why did he do this? K-A-N-S-K-Y. Is this Wait, what he called, like, he came over to tell her that day? Sandy Black will be arriving on March 5th. She'll drop March 5th. By the station first thing She'd be showing up Mrs. day after my birthday. How worried should we be? Mm, I really can't say until I have a full picture of the situation. We, of course. Well, have a good afternoon, Mrs. Prue. You too, sir. I just listened to Brown chatting with OCS. He really did it. He reported her. What if he was just a go-between? He might not have had a choice. We need to keep digging. Allison, you need to chill. Child service. 05R68, yeah. who did that? 05R68, I'll just... I need to check out 05R68 MISC. Oh, MISC. Oh, oh we need miss. Son of a bitch. 05. Here we go. There we go. That one just okay. didn't have it in the middle. Okay. Huh. Why is that here? Oh, God. Uh, diagnosis, concussion. Description of symptoms, pressure in the head, headache, loss of consciousness, nausea, dazed, hospital release, eye, patient name or garden, Tessa Vecchi, hereby released St. Meadow Clinic from liability following the patient as per terms of this release agreement. I have written and understood this hospital release form, patient signature. Okay. Okay. Oh, my God. This is so much... <laughs> Oh my gosh. This is a lot. <laughs> I know, it's a lot of back and forth. Yeah, I wish this was a little fast, like it, less back and forth, because it's hard to it's hard to figure this out. I exited my vehicle and gave pursuit on foot whereby I was able to do the driver same okay, so he drunk driving probably. Bloodshot eyes and a ruddy complexion. I also detected the odor of an alcoholic beverage. Uh, old Sam don't put his lips on nothing that don't have beer at the bottom. Is transported the okay. So he was drunk driving. Mm -hmm. There was something about complaints, right? Look for that. Here. Bingo. To theft report and child neglect from Tess or Tessa. Yeah, that's the one. 2005, 2015. I need to check of course, it's covering up where the microphone blocks the screen for me. One, five, four, six. Two, zero, one. This one. God, are we just going through every freaking box? <laughs> Feels like it. Wait, what the hell? Tessa accused her of child neglect. Oh my god. Location type store, shoplifting, person reporting Tessa on. Oh my god, my butt. On January 31st, 2005, at approximately 10.45, Mary Ann Ronan entered. Veni Vandy Vecchi, owned by Thomas and Tessa Vecchi. Mrs. Vecchi stated that she observed Ronan browse the aisles for about 10 minutes while chatting distractedly with her. Mrs. Vecchi stated that she was behind the cash register and did not have direct eye contact on Ronan at all times. Vecchi stated that after those 10 minutes, Ronan asked Vecchi if she had any organic mosquito incense in stock. Vecchi informed Ronan that she did not, but stated she believed the demand was odd due to the winter season. Ronan then left without purchasing anything else. Vecchi stated that approximately five minutes she walked back through the aisle where Ronan had been and discovered a missing box of detergent. Vecchi states that she had very recently restocked the shelves and no one else had been in the store that morning. Vecchi stated that she suspected Ronan of shoplifting before in the past, notably while in the company and possibly with the aid of Ronan's two children. Vecchi stated that she also had reason to suspect Ronan to be guilty of child neglect. They don't eat and are exposed to all kinds of inappropriate influences. Vecchi believed it is possible some form of abuse may be occurring in the home. What the? Over laundry detergents? Yes, uh, what the f Not cool. What the hell? Yeah, we're done. Shit. Oh. I'm sorry, Tyler. I couldn't stop him. But we got it all done? Right. Yep. Okay. Get out. Uncle, I... We didn't mean I'm to... I'm not going to repeat myself. 
You're a goddamn hypocrite. I said move it. H hey, get off me. Rather spend the night here? Come on. I said don't fucking touch me. Go Jesus, on. I'm so uncomfortable. Consider yourselves lucky your family. Private. You're right. Family. And for Allison's sake, we should talk. About what? We saw our father. Oh, you know. We know about social services. Why? Why did you turn your back on her? Why did Tessa? Yeah, I want more information. Okay. I don't want to make an assumption right now. Yeah, you're right. We need to talk. Uh, stop now or? Yeah, we could. Okay, should we do the conversation and then kill it or just kill it now? Let's kill it now. Okay. I think so. Whew, all right, well that got a lot and heavy and itchy, but we wanted to make sure we got all of it done fast enough. Um, but yeah, we're gonna be having a talk with old Uncle Eddie next time. Hmm. Um, I wanna reserve judgment because I feel like we got a lot of uh, pieces of information, but not a complete thought. I don't know, yeah. but also we're operating on very little information ourselves, but. I um, hope you guys are enjoying. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe, ring the bell, check your notification settings, turn them to all so you're notified of all the stuff on the channel that uploads live streams and premieres, and then you choose what you watch, not the algorithms. But I hope you are enjoying this. Um, sorry that this one ran so weird. Mm -hmm. We had to install chapter two, and then we <laughs> got we had to restart a chapter because Tyler got stuck. <laughs> but I hope you guys are still enjoying this series. We're going to be talking to Uncle Eddie and I'm assuming figuring out what all those reports were about. That was a lot of it. That was a big information mm -hmm. dump. But uh, yeah, thanks, Mike, for hanging out and keeping me company. Thank you, everyone who's watching, whether you're hanging out in the premiere chat or watching in your own time. Hope everyone's staying safe. Don't forget, as always, guys, there are links in the description for education on Black Lives Matter, the Trevor Project, Stopping Asian Hate, Issues in the World card, um, as well as mental health resources and crisis lines. Should you or someone you know need them, uh, be safe, wear a mask if you choose to go out. Hope everyone's staying hydrated. Remember to take care of yourselves, please.